In the story, when you hear this, turn the page. The magic box. Sarah and Davy lived in Puddle Lane. There was a big old house at the end of the lane with a big garden. Most of the house was empty, but a magician lived in the attic. He liked children, and he didn't mind a bit if they played in his garden. One day, Sarah was outside in Puddle Lane. She had a toy cart. One of the wheels had fallen off. Sarah was just fixing the wheel back on again when she looked up and saw Mrs. Pitter Patter. Mrs. Pitter Patter lived in Puddle Lane. And she was always asking questions. Sarah, cried Mrs. Pitter Patter, whatever are you doing? You'll make your dress all dirty, and your mother will be very cross with you. No, she won't, Mrs. Pitter Patter, said Sarah. I've got my old clothes on. It's my birthday, and the magician said that he would leave a present in the garden for me. He said it was a big one, so I'm taking my cart to carry it home. You'll tear your clothes on the bushes, cried Mrs. Pitter Patter. Surely your mother doesn't let you play in the magician's garden? Yes, she does, said Sarah. She knows the magician. He's a friend of ours. It's a lovely place to play. Davy came along the lane. He had a rope in his hand. There were two big knobs on one end of the cart. Davy and Sarah tied the ends of the rope. To the knobs. That's the wrong way to tie it," said Mrs. Pitter Patter. "We always tie it this way," Mrs. Pitter Patter said. Davy. Mrs. Pitter Patter shook her head and went back down Puddle Lane, muttering to herself. Davy pushed the gates of the garden open, and Sarah pulled the cart through. The rope worked very well. Davy shut the gates. And Sarah looked all around to see if she could see her birthday present. She saw a big box by the hollow tree. There it is! Look! She cried. She ran over to the tree. The box was wrapped in red paper and tied with a golden ribbon. A big white card was propped up against it. Sarah's name was written on the card in big letters. What is it? Asked Davy, running across to the tree. How do I know till I've opened it? Said Sarah. I'll open it now. She took off the ribbon and pulled off the paper, and uncovered a beautiful box. The box was painted blue and gold, and there was a big red button on the top. I wonder what's inside? Said Sarah, looking at the box. How do you open it? Wait a minute," said Davy. "There's something written on the back of the card. Look, it says, 'Don't open the box. Push the red button.' And what's the good of a box if you can't open it?" said Sarah. "It might be a magic box," said Davy. "You'd better do what the magician says." All right. Said Sarah, "I'll try it." She pushed the red button. At once, the box began to play a tune. Sarah felt her feet begin to dance. She couldn't stop them. The tune was a dancing tune, and her feet danced with it. Davy was dancing too. He couldn't help himself. They joined hands. And danced around and around until the music stopped. It's a musical box! cried Sarah. She was rather out of breath. What a lovely present! It's a magic musical box, said Davy. I couldn't stop dancing. Nor could I, said Sarah. My feet wouldn't stop. Let's take the box back to Puddle Lane. They lifted the box into the cart and pulled it back carefully to the gates of the garden. 
when they got to Puddle Lane, they saw Mr. Gotobed. Mr. Gotobed lived in the house next to the magician's garden. He spent most of the day in bed, sleeping. But he sometimes took his chair outside into the lane and went to sleep in the sunshine. He was fast asleep now, sitting in his chair. Sarah looked at Davy. I'm going to push the button and see what happens, she whispered. She pushed the red button. The music box began to play. Old Mr. Gotobed woke with a start. He jumped out of his chair and began to dance. Sarah and Davy joined hands and danced around until the music stopped. Well, cried Mr. Gotobed as he sat down in his chair again. Well, well, well. I haven't danced like that since I was a boy. That's a wonderful music box, Sarah. It was a birthday present from the magician, said Sarah. A present from the magician, said Mr. Gotobed. And that explains it. It's a magic musical box. Mrs. Pitter-Patter came pattering up the lane. She saw the box. What have you got there, Sarah? she cried. It's my birthday present from the magician, said Sarah. Nonsense, cried Mrs. Pitter-Patter. The magician would never give you a beautiful box like that. You must put it back where you found it. And what's that button? Don't touch it, Mrs. Pitter-Patter, cried Davy. Of course I shall touch it if I want to, said Mrs. Pitter-Patter. And she pressed the red button. This time, the box didn't play its dancing tune. It began to sing. Mrs. Pitter-Patter patters up the lane. Mrs. Pitter-Patter patters home again. Mrs. Pitter-Patter telling people what to do. Pitter-Patter clitter-clatter chitter-chatter-choo. As soon as the box began to sing, Mrs. Pitter-Patter's feet began to dance. She twirled around and around in the lane. Oh, cried Mrs. Pitter-Patter. Oh, whatever is it? Whatever is happening to me? Mrs. Pitter-Patter was the only one to dance to that tune. Sarah and Davy and Mr. Gotobed stood watching her dance until, at last, the box stopped singing and Mrs. Pitter-Patter went in at the door of her own house. I hope she's all right, said Davy. She was dancing very fast. Oh, she'll be all right, said Mr. Gotobed. It's very happy music. I don't think it could hurt her. I enjoyed my dance. But you'd better take that box home with you now, Sarah. I'm worn out and I'm going to have a little nap. Mr. Gotobed sat down in his chair. He put his handkerchief over his face and went back to sleep. It's a wonderful present said Davy, looking at the box. Yes, it is, said Sarah. Let's take it home and show it to everyone. So Sarah and Davy took the magic musical box home. When the music stops, turn the cassette over. Now turn back to the beginning of the book to look at the pictures again. Turn to the picture on the page with the title. That's the name of the story printed on it. The Magic Box. Now listen to this bell. When you hear it again, turn over the page and look at the next picture. Did you turn over? Good. This is a picture of the magician's garden. And that is what's printed under the picture. Can you read the words with me? The magician's garden. Did you turn over? Good. Sarah was just fixing the wheel on her cart when she looked up and saw Mrs. Pitter-Patter. Read the words under the picture with me. Sarah looked up. 
and saw Mrs. Pitter Patter. Mrs. Pitter Patter is always asking questions and telling other people what to do. She's talking to Sarah in the picture. Read the words under the picture with me. Sarah and Mrs. Pitter Patter. We're going to read the rest of the story together. So as you turn over the pages, look at the words under the pictures and read them with me. Davy had a rope. Mrs. Pitter Patter went back down Puddle Lane. Sarah and Davy went into the garden. Sarah saw a big box. Sarah and the box. Sarah pushed the red button. Sarah and Davy began to dance. Sarah and Davy went back to Puddle Lane. Sarah and Davy saw Mr. Go to Bed. Sarah pushed the red button. Mr. Go-to-Bed began to dance. Mrs. Pitter-Patter saw the box. The box began to sing. Mrs. Pitter-Patter began to dance. Mrs. Pitter-Patter danced down Puddle Lane. Mr. Go-to-Bed went back to sleep. Sarah and Davy took the box home. And in the last picture, you can see Sarah and Davy carrying the magic music box back into their own house. And that's the end of this story. Do you think Mr. Gotobed enjoyed dancing? Look back in the book and find the picture of him dancing. Does he look as if he's enjoying it? I wonder whether Mrs. Pitter-Patter liked dancing. Do you think she did? Look at the pictures and see. Do you remember the song which the music box sang? Here it is again. Mrs. Pitter Patter patters up the lane. Mrs. Pitter Patter patters home again. Mrs. Pitter Patter telling people what to do. Pitter Patter clitter clatter chitter chatter chew. <laughs> Thank you.